Mr. President, distinguished members of Congress, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, thank you for the invitation to speak to you here today. The session is taking place in the wake of a major phase in the reform of the whole organization. The objective of the reform is to make the Council of Europe more useful for our member states and to implement the common values we share in a more in a more effective and efficient way. Our activities must respond to the concrete challenges of the day in order to have a better focus and maximum impact. And these challenges are manifold. The European project is experiencing turbulence. Many speak about bringing decisions home, the renationalization of European politics of our common achievements is still a re real threat. As I've said on many occasions, the old ghost of nationalism is again visiting our continent. Nationalism always comes from something bad and always leads to something bad. Xenophobic attitudes are growing. More and more people seem to de define their own identity against other people's identity. They want to protect their own religion or, own, or culture by keeping foreigners out or by expelling them. Together with the wish to bring decisions home, as many express, it, comes, it becomes dangerous. Today's reality is that in many parts of Europe, over dem democratic values are under threat through new technological and economic forces and growing populist tendencies. Against this background, it is even more important that we insist upon the compliance with democratic norms and values. In the same way, a market benefits from some regulation. Our democracies need standards and values, checks and balances. My message is that we must not let the language of extremist forces slowly become mainstream in Europe. The European political mainstream has to join forces and find a way to combat hate speech and agree on a common language to speak to the public about common reality, which is that this continent has always been diverse and it is becoming even more diverse in the future. Issues of disc discrimination and the relations between majorities and minorities are intensifying. Therefore, we need action, education policies to address intercultural issues and to promote living with cultural diversity. The role of the Congress is especially relevant in this regard. It re represents the voice of local and regional authorities and provides a forum for dialogue with national governments. I am pleased that the Congress is now, as part of post-monitoring activities, developing practical country-specific cooperation to address major problems. I, par I particularly welcome your efforts to mobilize local and regional action to improve the situation of Roma, which resulted in the summit of mayors on Roma in September 2011, and the current action to build a European alliance of cities and regions for Roma inclusion in cooperation with my special representative for Roma issues. I also welcome the Congress's com contributions to both the report of the group of eminent persons of living together in the 21st century of Europe and the Council of Europe Conference of Ministers responsible for local and regional government in Kiev in November 2011. The Kiev Conference pointed to the important role of local and regional authorities in the economic revival of their communities and approved an agenda in common for joint action between national and local level. This agenda is very relevant in its responses to the economic crisis, increased citizen participation in Europe, better application of the European Charter of Local Self-Government and the fight against corruption. The agenda of this session with the current affairs debate on the impact of the financial crisis also shows that the Congress is tuned into the major challenges of the day. 
In the current situation, the Congress needs to focus on finding concrete, practical and operational responses to the problems at hand. It must add, I must add that this also applies to the rest of the Council of Europe. The objective of the reform is to focus us all on the real needs of European societies and to equip ourselves with the resources we need to respond to these needs. Resources will, of course, be limited for the foreseeable future. We live in times of constraints and severe cuts in public spending. But I nevertheless want to report to you that there are signs of confidence on this front. The voluntary contributions that the Council of Europe received from member states in 2011 were 35 per cent higher than the year before. The total receipts from the European Union also increased by 18 per cent. Our means remain clearly limited, but they are big enough to make a difference. Solidarity and cooperation between parties and between different layers of government are key words for dealing with today's financial and other challenges. We must stand together and join our efforts in order to have strong and credible responses. This means a stronger and more concrete dialogue between governments, parliaments and local and regional authorities and European institutions. We must also ensure a dialogue be beyond our domestic and immediate challenges. Our world, and indeed that of our neighbourhood, is in constant motion and this is having a profound impact on us. Therefore, we launched the Council of Europe's policy towards countries in the neighbouring uh, regions last year. Just over a year after the beginning of the historic developments in southern neighbourhood, we have a concrete policy, uh, and coherent policy and also bilateral agreed cooperation priorities which are about to be implemented, first in Morocco and then Tunisia. We have also started consultations with Jordan. I think we eventually can look even further. In addition, the beneficiary countries are not only in the south, but also in our neighborhood to the east and in Central Asia, where we have started to work with Kazakhstan. In many cases, a common denominator is a vision that a stronger local and regional democracy needs to be developed, and the Congress is very closely involved. I would also like to mention uh, the neighborhood policy in order to illustrate a new, more reactive, more operational, more political organization. I'm sure that uh, the Council of Europe and its uh, constituent uh, parts, such as the Congress, is starting to reap the rewards of modernization. We are addressing today's challenges and responding to the expectations of members and partners and I'm confident that together we will succeed in this mission. And I would like once again to pay tribute to my colleague, the Secretary General of the Congress, who is taking um, a strong part in all the reform efforts. And I'm sure that you are supporting him in this uh, mission. Thank you very much. Thank you.